Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Audiovation. In today's video we will be talking about the new Symphonisk speaker. Uh, yes, in uh, June 2021 uh, IK and Sonus uh, released the new version of Symphonisk uh, speaker, which they actually calling the painting speaker. And the reason they have behind that, why they calling it? Because it looks like a painting. So that is the one. As you can see, if you can uh, hang this speaker like that or like this. All right, so so this speaker comes actually in two color, uh, in a white and a black and gray. So uh, it is white and uh, gray or uh, black and gray color. So so the uh, front uh, panel of the white will be as well like kind of a whitish, with similar painting uh, in a gray color as well. All right, uh, so uh, in this video I will be showing you guys uh, how to install uh, that speaker on the wall uh, because you can hang actually this speaker on the wall and, uh, and we will be as well, uh, testing it uh, as well. In the beginning of this video you maybe already saw it, uh, saw it how this speaker sounds uh, but we will, be hanging uh, we will be hanging this speaker later on the wall and then we will be testing it again. All right, so uh, let's talk uh, first what comes in this uh, speaker. So as you can see uh, that this speaker, uh, let's see at the back first. So it comes with good cable management. Uh, so what comes with uh, in the box, it's like the power cable, uh, the bracket that you can actually uh, hang this speaker on it. It's kind of black uh, 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 bracket. Okay, so the bracket goes actually uh, on the wall and then it will slide here. So I will uh, show you guys, uh, you can see that uh, also during the uh, the video, that uh, when I will be actually installing it. Alright, so uh, what else we got here? We got the uh, internet uh, cable here uh, at, uh, at one side, and on another side is actually DC in and DC out. And why we have DC out? In case uh, you want to use it as a stereo and you will be buying the second one, maybe you can just say uh, use DC out from this speaker, actually power up to another speaker, so that's also the option. Uh, but uh, I didn't have any cable yet at IKEA. Uh, another good feature about uh, this speaker is not only the sound, but actually the front panel. Uh, IKEA uh, 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 said that in September they're coming with new panels, so this panel, uh, the panel, you can uh, remove it and then replace it with something else. Or if you're Andy with some canvas uh, material, you can these are the own one, so uh, let's uh, remove this panel and see what is. How you can't do that. So remove that panel at the back. You just need to. Pull. Oh, I'm sorry. So at the back, you need to kind of press it here, and it will actually release it. So on two sides, just press it. Okay, and as you can see, the panel is coming off. So let's uh, remove the panel. Okay, so that is the panel. It is uh, removed. Uh, let's put it uh, down. Okay, and the speaker itself, so as you can see, uh, there's some subwoofer on top and some uh, two speakers separated from that. Alright, so uh, that is how you actually you can uh, remove the panel. Alright, so uh, yeah, so that's how the panel looks, looks uh, actually. Alright, so and uh, just put it back and just clicks very quickly so it is done. As you can see, it's done, so nothing else you need to uh, do on it. Okay, uh, let's uh, install that one uh, together and then we will uh, talk, uh, we will test it and then I will uh, give some review about it. Uh, okay, uh, so let's talk about some uh, general tips. Uh, okay, before mounting uh, this bracket on the wall, uh, I've already marked the place, okay, one. So I'm using 6mm uh, plastic uh, plug and also I'm using 6mm drill bit. That is uh, one important thing that uh, you need to think uh, if you got the concrete uh, or wall that you need to use not just drill but drill hammer. So that, this one comes with a lot of power and it will drill directly. So uh, if you got just normal drill it will actually break your wall or kind of it will damage your wall. So make sure that you got the correct equipment whenever you're doing drilling on the walls. Uh, okay so uh, I already, as I mentioned before, I've already marked the place. So I will uh, show you guys how I will do that. And then you just put simply, uh, put the speaker on top.
pros of this uh, speaker. Uh, so uh, first of all the pros of this speaker is actually the belt quality. It is quite uh, good belt quality. It looks like a, pa a painting and it looks very really good on the wall. Alright so and also I like the design and also the idea behind that you can uh, actually exchange the panels so I like that idea as well that later on you can actually exchange the panels with some different styles maybe on monthly basis or on yearly basis you can just put something in something different or uh, or actually uh, also uh, design your own uh, front panel okay so uh, and another thing is actually the sound like of this uh, speaker even if when is it it's hanging on the wall still it gives you a lot a, a very good uh, sound as well and here you have air that uh, as well on, on the uh, testing part uh, the cons so uh, let's come back with the, with the cons and I will be very honest I know that maybe some uh, people will be not agree with me or even uh, if by the chance someone from IKEA will uh, watch this video maybe it will be not agree with me uh, but the Wi-Fi function of this speaker, especially on that Symphonisk uh, version 2021, is pretty bad. And what I mean by that, that if you wanna uh, use it always on on a Wi-Fi, so connect to connecting this speaker on the Wi-Fi, it took me roughly one hour to find out. And how I ended up uh, actually connecting this one to my Wi-Fi? So first of all, you need to connect your network cable on that speaker. Uh, to do all the configuration. Once the configuration is done and it is connected to your Sonos app on your phone, then from there you actually you can add your Wi-Fi to the speaker, and that is not something that in this kind of uh, in 2020 we're expecting. Like on Symphonic One, where you could actually uh, look for uh, search for your Wi-Fi and then just click on your Wi-Fi and put the password and it's connected. On this one, it is not the case. So on this one, you need to actually type your Wi-Fi's name, go next, and then type your password and I think that is unrealistic to be very frankly it is unrealistic so it is actually two steps behind with technology on this speaker especially on the uh, that uh, technology on this speaker uh, I beg your pardon uh, so let's turn it off automatically okay uh, so that is one of the cons that I didn't like that the, con uh, the connection how they actually uh, designed the connection to Wi-Fi it is uh, don't make sense to me at all I mean this technology was uh, maybe it's not 10 years behind uh, 10 years ago if you want to connect some, uh, something on the Wi-Fi you, you need to actually type the name of your Wi-Fi and then the password uh, these days uh, you should be actually getting the drop down menu and then choice from there and if you got actually a good uh, modem like I do you don't even need to type the password because I'm getting alert on my phone and I can just approve it to connect any device to my uh, uh, internet at home or not I, I'm just getting that uh, alert on my phone so all the speakers or the new technology should be already having these options uh, so anyway guys uh, so that was actually uh, a review about uh, this speaker and uh, pros and cons about it and uh, and then I will, um, the conclusion, if I want to actually uh, say, uh, advise someone to buy it, uh, I would still prefer uh, to buy or advise you to buy the uh, Symphonisk uh, one, which is the bookshelf version, because both of them got 
same sound quality same sound level so why you will be spending a 179 euros or 79 dollars on that speaker if you go uh, if you can just buy the bookshelf for 100 euros or for 99 euros and you got similar uh, function as well uh, even on the function it's much better so uh, my conclusion is if you want to buy it uh, Sonos uh, IKEA uh, speaker just go for Symphonisk bookshelf anyway guys if that's your first time do not forget to uh, subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon like and share and do not forget also to comment have a nice day